Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate you coming on the virtual campground to talk about your renovation. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So let's get right into it. Tell us uh, about what RV did you renovate? Okay, so uh, a 2001 Fleetwood Prowler, uh, 30 foot, and actually um, it was uh, something that my husband just bought. We were looking for trailers, uh, you know, the prices were crazy, uh, we were missing out on some good deals on some trailers, and my husband found one, he sent me some pictures, and he goes, uh, what do you think, you want to go look at it, and it was a really crazy time in my life. Uh, my mother was uh, in the process of passing during that time. And I just said, you know what, I just trust you. So he brought he brought that back about a, um, a week later. And um, that's when I actually saw it and great shape, in really good shape. It just needed some love and some updating because, you know, I had the nasty looking colors and those those uh, curtain boxes, mm. window boxes, things, mm. those have got to go. When are they going to figure <laughs> out that you just, no, don't put those up there. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about why renovate. Why, when, when you saw the rig beside, you know, I mean, I, I guess visually you were looking at it and thinking, that's eh, just, you know, kind of boring, but tell me more about the why. Why, why would you want to go through the trouble of renovating? Um, well, you know, for me, it was uh, really a good process that in a project that I just needed at the time. And it just, I just wanted to, to have a project, really, you know, I could have just taken it out and used it, it would have been great, really, but I just really wanted to make it feel homey. And it I started you know, in the bedroom, and then it just kind of grew from there. And it was a process that, uh, you know, I after work, I would work on. And, uh, you know, still dealing with COVID and not really doing a whole lot. And so it was just really good to have a project to be able to work on during that time. Okay. Yeah. When, when you were doing your renovation, tell me about your biggest challenge or biggest challenges well, um, in the in in the bedroom, and then in the um, like where the couches, there were uh, the cabinets that had the glass in it, and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna have fun, just you know, taking a hammer and just smashing the heck out of it, and just get it all out of there. No, that stuff was really difficult. They used I don't know how much of like some kind of thick rubberized sealant all around it. So you know, you had to really get all of that out of there, and then take a knife and get it all out. Um, you know that those kind of things were were difficult. Um, we had the um, paneling that had carpet or not car carpet fabric on the middle of um, in between the cabinets, and I really didn't think that would be hard to smash out of there. I just started taking a hammer to it, and they put I think about 120 staples oh, on a awesome. piece about like that big, and I'm thinking, why is that so <laughs> difficult? You know, so I'm taking a a screwdriver trying to get it down. I mean, those kind of things that you think, oh, this is going to be really easy. Not a big deal, you know? And then you're like, what were they thinking with all of this stuff, you know? But yeah. no, I mean, it really wasn't, there wasn't too much that was really a problem. Certainly I didn't have a problem like so many others do when it comes to renovating, like finding that you have water damage. So talk about, um, as you were, as you're thinking about, you've, you've finished the renovation, right? Or, or you've gotten it to a point where, where you, you're essentially done, if I recall. Kind you, of. Yeah, you reserve the I'm, right to make some changes to it. I keep working on it. Last <laughs> night I had my husband out there helping me with putting a new light on. And I'm like, okay, and then I want to get these other lights done too. And he's like, why don't you just give it a break a little bit? But <laughs> I guess I guess that's the hard part is when do you call it done? And, and, and I've seen some people announce that it's done uh, in the renovation group, but then they go back and tweak some more things. But that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's just the nature of it. Even in a house, you're going to do that from time to time. Mm -hmm. so oh, and let me just say, so... Yeah. Um, best test of how well you renovate it is you take and you put an 18 month old oh, in the trailer. Oh my gosh. 
Because that's what I did yesterday when I was working on some stuff and uh, my grandson managed to <laughs> just find all the things that were loose or whatever. And I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got a, a toddler, a, a grandson or, uh, you know, a neighbor that has a child, bring them over and let them child proof the house. Yeah. Uh, you can see how durable your work is. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So as you, as you think about now that you've, essentially been done with the renovation or at least close to done. Tell me about if someone were to say, I want to get into renovating RVs, what advice would you give them? Uh, a lot of times it's hard to know where to start and it gets overwhelming. So like for me, I started in the bedroom because I just said, okay, I'm just going to do the bedroom and I'm going to learn from that because, and, and also being, being okay with making mistakes. So, cause, and, and for me, it wasn't as intimidating, you know, um, like we built our house and that's a little scarier, right? But when it comes to a trailer, I mean, what are you going to do? You, you, okay. So maybe you don't paint, you, you know, you don't paint right and the right, use the right paint or whatever, and it comes off. Well, you've learned a lesson through it and you just fix it, you know? Um, I certainly did when I, when I did the bedroom, I started painting and I did not use liquid sandpaper and that was a mistake. I know I'm going to pay for that. You know, I'm going to have to somehow go back and fix it, but thank goodness it's just the bedroom. It's not like it's the kitchen. Yeah. And I, I think that's uh, you know, anytime you're tackling a big project, especially one where you have no idea what you're doing to compartmentalize just like you did you know you're mm -hmm. not going to look at that entire rv and say oh my gosh i've got to renovate this entire thing you took one part of it that's relatively small and started learning and just doing one mm -hmm. thing at a time and that's i think a great uh, piece of advice Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't be afraid to try something new. The paneling uh, that I put in there and in that where the uh, couch is, is actually from Home Depot. And my husband and I were, were actually there getting a uh, beadboard because that's what I replaced those glass um, panels on, again, of the cabinets uh, with. I put the beadboard on it on it and then I painted it and then I saw that paneling and I went oh my gosh that paneling is so cool we've got to get that and so that's that's kind of what I did I just I don't know how I'm going to get it on there I don't know what we're going to do but I found that liquid nails is my friend I love like liquid nails yep. and um so yeah yeah, That's... hopefully uh, whoever buys it from you somewhere down the road will like what you put up there because liquid nails, that's yeah. tough to remove. It's not coming up. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, not coming up. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about some details of your rig. I want to show a photo uh, of one section of your rig before, and then we'll okay. roll through some after photos, and let's talk about them. I want to hear what your thoughts are. So here's one of your before pictures. So Yeah. When you walked into this rig, your husband brought it home. You really, it's sight unseen as far as you're concerned. Tell me mm -hmm. what your thoughts were when you walked into this and how did you start formulating a plan for your renovation? Well, for me, you know, my first impression was, wow, it's really clean. They did a really nice job. They kept it up really well. So I was so thankful for that. And then the next thing was those um, mirrored um, cabinets have got to go. The, you know, I'm sure other people love them, but I do not. And then, of course, that uh, headboard in that bedroom got to go. So um, that's really kind of where I just started. Okay, and as far as a, a color scheme or paint scheme, did you have any thoughts on on that? I mean, obviously, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. brown on brown on, with light brown thrown in right now, or it was. Um, what were your thoughts on colors? Well, you know, I know gray is really popular right now, and so that's what I went with. And I was kind of surprised the lighting in there, it makes that gray look more like a grayish blue, but um, I like it. And actually... Um, I painted, I took off all the cabinet uh, doors and I fixed all the ones that had the glass. So it had beadboard and then uh, started painting. 
not realizing that I hadn't intended to paint the all of them gray. So when I put them up, I realized that in the kitchen, you know, the cabinets are white. I originally wanted the doors to be white, but I, <laughs> I had gone so gung ho on painting that I painted those gray as well. But you know what? I think it worked out okay. I really like it that way. Well, let's take a look. Uh, so back to the before. So this is what I'll go mm -hmm. for. And then here's one of your, the after photos. Uh, so same. Yeah, if you see on the right, mm -hmm. the, the gray cabinets up there, those doors, yeah. I did not, I was going to have them be white, but I like, I like the gray up there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. So, so tell us about painting those cabinets. What process did you go through? Uh, lots of liquid sandpaper. Okay. Um, yeah, d take your time on doing the liquid sandpaper um, and then get some good paint. Did you clean you know? them beforehand? Right. Yeah. So you cleaned them, liquid sandpaper, mm -hmm. and then high quality paint. Mm -hmm. right. And just not don't be in a hurry, you know. Um, and then I took the the um, poles, you know, the 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 um, handles on off, and mm -hmm. I painted those. Okay. All right. All right. So those are the yeah. original uh, handles. You just painted right. them to, to freshen them up. Mm -hmm. Tell us about mm -hmm. that wall back there. That's sort of a focal, not sort of a focal, it's a beautiful focal point uh, for that area. So tell us about that wall. What is that? That's that paneling that I got at Home Depot that I, my husband and I uh, saw and went, wow, that is really cool. We got to put that in. So yeah, uh, we put it in, started actually, you know, putting it into the bedroom. And that's where you can see back in there, that's where we put it. And then up above, in between those cabinet doors, you know, I took those out because those had the fabric on them. Mm -hmm. And then I put that paneling, that wood paneling up on there too. And then I just continued because I was like, gosh, I just love it so much. Let's just put it there. I had originally thought I'd put wallpaper on there. I was thinking like some some kind of like uh, trees or something, but I felt it was too distracting to the ca uh, the ca uh, cover for the couch. Mm -hmm. And I just love that paneling so much. Yeah, so beautiful. That is, yeah. Tell us about the recovering on the couch there. You know what? It's this one I got from Amazon. It's amazing what you can get in on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. yeah it made quite a bit of difference. And, uh, and I didn't take it out. I know some people do. They get new couches and stuff. Nope. I just got a cover. Yeah. No, it, made, it makes a lot of difference. Okay. So let's yeah. take a look at another view here. So this is a close up of the bedroom. So mm -hmm. uh, carried that theme through with, with the uh, wall coverings there. And mm -hmm. uh, so tell us a little bit and more about this room. Yeah, if uh, if you look to the left, you see that there's a half wall of wallpaper. Um, and that was really something I was not too sure what to do with because originally there was a thick border of like mauve and blue, right? Typical uh, on those RVs. And for the life of me, I could not get it off. Like I, I used, I did everything I could, you know, I was YouTubing it. I was up how to get that border completely off. I could rip it off, but then it still had like this sticky kind of back on it and everything. And then I finally said, well, I'm just going to try to paint what I can. Um, and I, so I painted over it, but you could still kind of see it. It was bad. So then I just went, you know what? I'm going to wallpaper it. And to me, it turned out really well. I was really pleased with that. And then I put a little chair railing yeah. on that. Yeah, looks nice. Looks very nice. Mm -hmm. And then you see the those uh, window boxes. Yeah. Um, that is ghost wood, which is really light. Again, Home Depot. And, uh, you know, when I took those boxes off, then what was left was I just kept the uh, blinds, the holder okay. for the blinds there. And then I just attached that wood onto that. Nice. Yeah, yeah I was really pleased with that. Yeah, it's a nice, nice look. And it's better than just having a bare wall there. Um, mm -hmm. the so it looks really nice. So. All right, let's talk. Let's see uh, another shot. Oh, that's the old one. So let's take a look at uh, this one. Tell us about what you were doing here. 
Okay. Yeah. So um, you can see on that right wall, I used some more of that beadboard because I really like it. And I put that up with a chair rail there just to kind of lighten it up and break it up. And I used it against that um, part of that booth as well. Um, and then I used that peel and stick tile on the uh, back wall. It goes mm -hmm. on there and then it goes on to the left side as well and uh continued that whole thing with the paneling you can see a little bit of that paneling in the um on that cabinet and then the ghost wood that's around the um the windows and then you know i this it this one took me a while i those um counters were um that formica whatever blue you know mm -hmm. and i wasn't really pleased with it and so and I just, I'm not one to go and take it all out and rebuild it. Mm -hmm. I just am amazed. I'm in awe of people who do that. <laughs> but for me, I was like, nope, not going to do it. So I just got that epoxy appliance paint and I painted them. And I am so happy with oh, how it turned out. Okay. I just painted was, it white. Say that again. That was epoxy just, paint? Yeah, the epoxy paint, the... Um, the appliance paint and it's uh, it's a it's a shiny white and you know you have to take your time on it you have to let it sit after you know between each uh, application I think I did like three um, applications on it okay. but yeah, yeah nice. really pleased with it yeah, mm -hmm. good advice okay and we've got one more to look at here so let's take a look at the bathroom so tell us about this space uh, yeah, so this is this was the second room that I took on after you know I just worked from the bat bedroom back you know up to the front and so again I just put that paneling on the wall there and used that stick and tie stick and peel or peel and stick uh, <laughs> um, you know tile and. Uh, Again, I got it off of Amazon, and boy, it's amazing what you can get on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's everything's on Amazon. And um, right. you may have mentioned this, but the towel holders, what, what was the... Uh, what the was towel it? holders were actually there. They're original. I just painted them. Okay. And then those other little things that are on the wall, I got at the thrift store. Okay. All right. uh, along with the shower curtain, you can see it at, that in the hmm. mirror. Nice. So, okay. Yeah. Well, beautiful renovation. Well done. Yeah, thanks. And, well, Kelly, thank you so much for coming on. We really do appreciate it. Such a beautiful renovation. And uh, I know you're going to enjoy that rig for many years. And, um, and really appreciate you coming on to the virtual campground to share it with us. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. And it's it was uh, quite a journey, but it was really fun. And, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And again, thanks for having me on to share about it. You're very welcome. I know that uh, you've shared some great tips so people will uh, be able to learn from this video and, and uh, we are grateful for that. So I hope to meet you on the road one day, but until then, I hope to see you on the virtual campground.